Hello, we're here with Cannondale's Murray Washburn at Eurobike, here today to talk about the Cannondale Slice RS Black Edition. What separates the black from the rest? Our uh, product manager, Henning Schroeder, decided that he wanted to do something to set apart our premium models this year. So at the top of each category at the silo, like our Elite Road, our Triathlon TM Trial, our uh, More Comfort Road oriented, each one has a black edition model that represents the kind of premium spec, the kind of cost is no object, best of everything. Went to great, great lengths to get you know custom uh, matched, full blacked out, component, so it has a real sleek, understated, premium look. Okay, so walk us through this particular bike here. What's, what's special Slice about RS this? is uh, our brand new weapon for the race against the clock. And uh, it comes on the heel of our very successful Slice frames. What we wanted to do with this bike is uh, we really wanted to make the fastest way possible from point A to point B. So we looked at uh, a number of things, and we looked at the things that we could affect and the things that we couldn't. And what we could affect as a manufacturer is two things. You can affect tube shape, and then you can affect frontal area. If you look at the calculation for aerodynamic drag, the CD, or tube shape, aero profile tube, uh, is one part of the calculation. And in an equal part of the calculation is A, or the frontal area. So we were going to go back and reinvent the wheel and come up with a crazy new aero tube shape that no one's heard of. Tube shapes are pretty well set. We know what's aerodynamic, we know what's not. But we did figure that we could radically reduce frontal area and as such create a much more aerodynamic frame by making everything as narrow as possible. So as you look throughout this frame, you'll see everything from the skinny crazy seat post to the external steerer fork, all the way on back through the way that we handle the uh, seat stays and chain stays. It's all designed to be as absolutely narrow as, as we can possibly make it, reducing that frontal area and cutting down on drag. Wednesday night at Eurobike, the Super 6 Evo Black Edition won one of eight gold awards, and this is the second year at Cannondale the Super 6 Evo has won an award. Walk us through the highlights of, of that bike, if you would. The Super 6 Evo, well, uh, the accolades just keep coming in for the Super 6. It's, uh, it's pretty amazing what the Evo has accomplished. Um, it not only is the lightest production frame in the world, but it has the best stiffness to weight of any of the frames, and it also boasts a really remarkable ride compliance. So it really is the perfect balance of all the key factors of performance, right? So it uh, is a bike that is explosively stiff enough to be able to carry Peter Sagan to the green jersey. It's comfortable enough that people are buying it and uh, riding it as their everyday rider bike. Um, and it's also so unbelievably light that uh, it kind of defies belief that all those things can be in one package. So it's, uh, we were pleasantly surprised that it uh, won for a second year here, but I guess it's a testament to just how good the bike is. Both of the black models are the best that can be developed, best money can buy. Are they available to consumers? Absolutely. It's uh, it's the top. It's just simply the top of the range. So, um, again, Henny wanted to create something that had a little bit of a cachet, had a little bit of a, a presence on its own, so that people would look at it and say, "Oh, we realize that that's the top of the line bike. It's perfect for customers that uh, don't aren't looking for a lot of flash. They're looking for this, but they're it's a really solid, powerful, confident looking bike. So they're uh, they're beautiful." All right, Murray, we're here with a brand spanking new Trigger 2.9. Tell us about this bike. Well, hello again. Um, <laughs> Trigger 2.9 is uh, the latest member of our Overmountain family of bikes. And Overmountain is a, a group of bikes that's characterized by having dual natures. They can switch back and forth from short travel to long travel. Um, so with a bike like the Trigger 2.9, which is a, a bigger bike, that really makes a huge difference. You can go from a really crisp, efficient, 80 millimeter travel, more trail oriented bike, to when you get to the top of the climb, you hit a switch, Boom, you're in full 130 travel mode. Everything drops and settles. You've got a much faster, full wide open uh, damping and uh, uh, full travel setting so that you kind of have the best of both worlds. You get a big travel bike, but climbs like a short travel bike because it is a short travel bike. Where is the trigger on this trigger? The trigger on the trigger is on the handlebar. Little handlebar mounted lever that allows you to switch between modes on the fly. So you can actually use it not only for climbing and descending, but you can use it when you want to power out of a turn, when you hit a flat section and you want to overtake your buddies. It's uh, it's really like having a little turbo boost on your handlebars. A single flip of a switch changes not only the geometry, but the suspension settings front and rear. That's correct. Uh, when you switch between the modes, the sag point changes. So you go from a high steep angled bike 
everything settles and drops when you get into the flow mode, gets you in that perfect position for attacking the descents. And uh, what better for attacking the descents than the new Supermax fork, which is uh, our lefty on massive doses of steroids. Stiffer, bigger, it basically gives you uh, dual crown DH fork stiffness and strength at normal trail fork weight. <laughs>